you can use probability to make a prediction. For example, suppose you have 25 blocks in a bag. There are 15 red, 4 blue, and 6 yellow blocks. If you pull a block out of the bag and replace it 200 times, how many times would you pull out a blue block? To solve problems like this, the first step is to set up a proportion. First of all, think of the, what you are comparing and start with words. You are comparing blue blocks to total blocks. Your first ratio of your proportion will be what you know. You know right now that you have four blues for every 25 blocks. Four blues out of 25. Your second, your second ratio of your proportion will be what you're trying to find out. You're going to do the experiment 200 times and you're trying to find out how many of those times you will get blue. Now at this point you use step two, use cross multiplication or equivalent fractions to solve. You can either times eight times eight, you can use equivalent fractions or let's review, you could cross multiply, 25 times x is 25x, 200 times 4 is 800, bring those down, set them equal to each other, 800 equals 25x, x is the variable, it's being multiplied by 25, so you need to divide by 25 on both sides to isolate the variable, 25 goes into 80 three times with 5 left over, so 32x equals 32. Now it's a word problem, so answer in word. 32 times would be blue. Let's try a few more. Let's say you flip a coin 150 times. How many times will you likely get heads? So let's start with what you know. Heads to total. You know that there are only two choices when you flip a coin. One head for every two choices, heads or tails. So that's the first ratio of your proportion. You are wanting to flip the coin 150 times and you're trying to figure out how many will be heads. Times 75 here, times 75 here would give you x equals 75. In that case, we use our equivalent fractions to solve. All right? If you roll a dice 78 times, how many times will you likely roll a 5? Again, start with what you, want to, what you need to know, how many 5's there are compared to how many total sides. So your ratio of getting a 5 is 1 to 6, but you want to know for 78 how many you will get. Again, you can use your equivalent fractions or you can cross multiply. In this case, you can multiply by 13 on both sides. And x equals 13. I'm sorry, answering words, 13 fives. Up here, this should be 75 heads. Okay. And if you spin the spinner 35 times, how many times will you spin a B? So we need to start with what, with our words and what we know. These compared to total. Start with your basic probability. There are 1, 2 out of 5. So you're trying to find X out of 35 times 7 times 7 and you get 14. 14 blues.